welcome to the Lost Media Chronicles, a show which discusses various lost movies, music, art, you name it. And I'm back from the dead for one quick video to talk about one of my favorite Nicktoons ever. Nickelodeon is one of the most popular topics I get for the Chronicles. Be it from Spongebob, Jimmy Neutron, or the Fairly Odd Parents, you can bet it attracts droves of requests and views. Too bad today's topic is about one of the more boring Nicktoons. This is the story about the lost media behind Hey Arnold. For the unfamiliar, Hey Arnold was a Nicktoon that ran from 1996 to 2004. It was like Doug in that it clashed with its fellow Nicktoons by being low-key and calm. It focused more on slice-of-life storylines over slapstick antics. It was about Arnold, a mature-for-his-age boy with a football-shaped head, and his colorful neighbors and friends. Included was Helga, an immensely popular character with a crush on Arnold and a tragic backstory. Of course, there was also Gerald, Harold, Sid, and many other characters, but it was mostly focused on Arnold and Helga. The show had a lesson to be learned at the end of each episode, but was careful not to drop the anvil too hard. Now, most of the lost media related to Hey Arnold is stuff that has already been found or stuff that's about to be released. And there is still going to be some lost media like it or not, and to understand where this lost media came to be, it's important to understand the history of Hey Arnold. It all starts with Craig Bartlett, an underage graduate who wanted to be a 19th century painter, but took on animation not long after graduation. Part of his early work was on Pee Wee's Playhouse. It was here that he made some claymation cutaway gags about a girl named Penny. These shorts also played on Sesame Street. In these cutaways were a slew of side characters, with one of them being a football-headed kid named Arnold. He had three solo shorts, Arnold Escapes from Church, The Arnold Waltz, and Arnold Rides His Car, all of which can be found on YouTube. A few years after his work on Playhouse, Bartlett worked for Nickelodeon. He got his start working with the writers on Rugrats. He showed executives the penny cutaways, hoping to draw attention to the lead character. However, executives found themselves more drawn to Arnold, finding his fantastical daydreams more fascinating. It was from here that Arnold became the gentle kid that we know him as today. Writers fleshed out the character and Bartlett created the side characters, drawing influence from his childhood. He wanted the characters to have their own distinct personalities, and for the show to win over the audience with its heart and quirkiness, rather than bathroom humor and zany antics. Bartlett started working on the series pilots, taking time out of his busy schedule to produce it in his living room. Nickelodeon tested this pilot with audiences at showings for the first live-action movie, Harriet the Spy. Audiences loved the quirky characters, and the network greenlit worked to start on a series set to premiere in 1996. The pilot was unavailable to the public for years. Despite it being a mass-viewed cartoon that led to one of Nick's flagship shows, nobody was able to find a copy. That is, until it was uploaded on YouTube in 2012, almost 20 years after its initial showing. The animation was cheaper, and some of the characters had different designs and traits. It was later remade into the episode 24 Hours to Live. The series was popular, not just with kids. Adults found the hidden mature humor funny, and also appreciated the complex heart behind it. It was acclaimed for having simple plots involving complicated characters. Helga ended up becoming especially popular, seen as relatable for children and teens struggling with depression and mental illness. However, things weren't going the last in the land of Nickelodeon. Nick started phasing it out with its newer shows. The channel allowed for Bartlett to finish production of Season 4 in early 2001. However, they were so slow on airing the episodes that the final episode didn't air until 2004, three years after it had been finished. The finale wasn't announced, it just quietly aired. Nickelodeon didn't like their shows having an end to them. Many shows' finales suffered from a policy placed on the channel that no show could have a clear end so that viewers would watch reruns, hoping to catch a new episode. Hey Arnold ended on a cliffhanger. Now, Craig Bartlett did get a promising opportunity. 
In 1998, during the height of Arnold's popularity, Bartlett was offered to produce two feature films, one for television and one for the big screen. The one intended for the big screen was Hey Arnold the Jungle Movie. We'll come back to this one. The one for television, Arnold Saves the Neighborhood, was a smaller scale spy thriller. As production continued on each, Paramount, the distributor for Nickelodeon Pictures, grew weary of producing two Hey Arnold films. Arnold Saves the Neighborhood was moving quickly because it had an easier storyline, while the Jungle movie was going slower because it was meant to be the series finale. They chose the Greenlight the Neighborhood movie as the theatrical least and leave the Jungle movie for television. This infuriated Bartlett, and he ended up leaving Nickelodeon not long after production wrapped up on season 4. Arnold Saves the Neighborhood was retitled to Hey Arnold the Movie, and was released in 2002 to negative to mixed critical reception and only did moderately well at the box office. After the underwhelming performance in Bartlett's departure, Hey Arnold aired less and The Jungle Movie was cancelled. The original version of The Jungle Movie is the only remaining piece of significant lost Hey Arnold media. It was meant to be a spiritual successor to the series finale Parents Day. It follows the kids on a field trip to San Lorenzo, Central America, where Arnold goes on a journey to find his biological parents. The kids get kidnapped by pirates. It becomes Arnold's job to lead his friends out of harm's way. This was a big deal when it got cancelled. The movie was eventually shelved and Nickelodeon has absolutely no intention on ever releasing it. And I'm only saying that to see how many of you would pause the video at that exact moment and correct me in the comments. If you did that, joke's on you. Recently, Nick has been revamping its classic shows after the successful block, The 90s Are All That, proved to be a ratings monster. Invader Zim is making a comeback, and Rocco's Modern Life is returning one more time for a movie that takes place in modern times. Hey Arnold fans started campaigns and petitions to bring the Jungle movie back into production. Bartlett shared some details about it in interviews, but kept secrets just in case the impossible happened. Then in 2015, Nickelodeon confirmed the Jungle movie was back in progress with Bartlett in charge. He has every intention of answering longtime fan questions with this movie, and to bring the series to a satisfying conclusion. Fans are ecstatic with the the November 24th release date fast approaching. It's also been said that if the movie does well, Nick may want to bring the show back for a new season. The original version of the Jungle movie looks like it's going to remain unreleased. When the original work materials were brought out of the vault, Bartlett decided to take a different direction. He started from scratch, scrapping all the original materials. All that remains are the few details Bartlett told us in interviews. It's unlikely that any of this material will surface, as this is the type of stuff you see as special features on a DVD or Blu-ray, and we all know what's happening to those. Most fans don't really seem to mind, as they're getting a version of the Jungle movie at all. That in and of itself is a miracle. Hey Arnold has become one of the most beloved Nicktoons of all time. When it was first released, it was well-liked and popular, but people looking back on it now are calling it a classic. There are many episodes that brought tears to my eyes when I recently rewatched it, and it's more rewarding to watch as an adult than Rugrats or Ren and Stimpy. It's great that passionate fans have helped to find the original pilots, and brought the Jungle movie out of the graveyard. Will we ever see the original vision of the Jungle movie? More than likely not. But it's amazing how everything just lined up perfectly and worked out in the end. That about does it for this episode, but I'm going to close this one out in a bit of an unconventional manner. I'm going to talk about the most important lesson I ever learned from watching Hey Arnold, and that's... Never eat raspberries. Gotta go!